New move to free Namdi Kanu as Abarib, Ozkom, Agbakoba seek political solution. Hello great viewers and subscribers, welcome to my news compound. Many leaders, within and outside of the southeast, have heightened calls for a political solution to the continuous detention of the leader of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, Ipobi, Namdi Kanu, following the recent ruling of the Supreme Court. Niger News recalls that the Supreme Court had, in its ruling, nullified the Court of Appeal judgment that ordered the federal government to release the embattled IPOB leader from detention. Before the Supreme Court ruling, there had been intense calls for the unconditional release of Kanu by eminent individuals and groups who had urged the Supreme Court to affirm the appellate court's decision. The IPOB leader, who was first arrested by security agents in Lagos on October 14, 2015, has been in detention since June 29, 2021. He jumped bail and escaped into exile after the military allegedly attacked his father's compound in Afaraku, Umwahia, on September 10, 2017. However, he was extraordinarily renditioned back to Nigeria to continue facing charges of treason and terrorism, among others. In a move to bring lasting peace to the southeast region, political leaders, lawyers, human rights activists, and sociocultural groups, among others, are urging President Bola Tinubu to adopt a political solution to resolve the lingering issue in the interest of the nation's unity. Reacting, a former minority leader of the Senate, Senator Enyanea Abarib, said Ndigbo would vigorously pursue a political solution that could ultimately free Kanu. The senator, who is representing Abia South in the Senate, said, I'm of the firm belief that this current federal government will do something very fast to release Namdi Kanu, if for no other reason, but for national cohesion and unity of the country. As leaders, we shall continue to press for a solution that will be the best in the circumstance. According to Vanguard, a former president of the Nigerian Bar Association, Alisa Agbakoba, also advocated for a political solution. He said, I think a political solution is the best option because we have had many issues and crises around Nigeria and not just Namdi Kanu, there's Boko Haram, there's kidnapping, banditry, etc. So, if President Tinubu wants to push his agenda of the renewed hope forward, we need a cool environment. And this is what all experienced politicians around the world have always done. The best example was when Europe was on fire in the 1800s. There were so many wars. They saw they couldn't win, and they sat down and made peace. So, for me, clearly, it will make sense if the federal government realizes that it's better to seek a political solution than a legal solution. Similarly, Mike Oscom, who has always advocated for a political solution, said, like I've always called, again and again, there could be a political solution. I've advocated for that in the last few years when I took over leadership of the matter. In September last year, I wrote a 36-page letter to former President Buhari, pleading with him to find a political solution by releasing Namdi Kanu to the entire Igbo race. The entire Southeast is unsafe for anybody to go. So the whole geopolitical of Nigeria comprising five states is virtually locked down for business activities, worship activities, night activities, and educational activities, and that is not good. I told the federal government, and I'm repeating it, Nigeria cannot really say it is sleeping in peace when one large aspect of five states is in turmoil, that is not possible, that is where the issue of the political solution comes in that the president can play the role of a statesman. Aseri de Kubo had that also done by the late president Yar Ajua when he started the amnesty program. After all, in this country in the last eight years, we have seen Boko Haram kingpins released by the government so as to have peace. And I said he can do that. He can even instruct the Attorney General of the Federation to use Section 174 of the Constitution to withdraw the case because the AG can initiate, terminate, and withdraw any criminal proceedings at any time. We call it to enter nal prosequi and he can discontinue the matter and let this man go so that peace can return to the southeast and the entire nation of Nigeria. So, it is never too late for a political solution to be solved with this problem. 
So, this political solution is an alternative dispute resolution solution which can bring about peace and a win-win situation without the FG losing face, rather than being applauded and without the Igbo people feeling more pain. It's a win-win situation for the whole country, thanks for watching. Now, my analytics. Political solution indeed. The problem about this government, like I told you before, they believe that they can do everything and go through with it because they move around with the bulletproof cars. But when the going will get tough, we will know who is who. They will understand why they should have obeyed the appeal court verdict and several court in Nigeria and said the gentleman that they went all the way from Kenya to Kenya to kidnap and brought back to Nigeria after killing so many people in his compound including his family and parents three will believe he, he is so much powerful because he controlled the judiciary he controlled the law he controlled the constitution he controlled the senate he controlled everything in Nigeria as a president of Nigeria but he has forgotten one thing so just like Mazin Namde Kano, he has children too. <laughs> there is a time when this problem that they are looking for will start. Believe me, so many of them will understand that even those living in Europe, those living in different parts of the country and the world, will suffer for it. We have said several times that we waited for them to come to be set free by court of law. All this thing about a political solution, whatever you call it, that one consign you. As far as we are concerned, Nam the Khan has been set free by court of law in Nigeria. That gibberish that the Supreme Court did was a game played by Tinibu and British government. Just because they want to continue to keep Igbo down. They want to continue to swallow their resources. In a country where those who have nothing to show for it in their own land have been the ones who live in the country. And the funniest part, they are not even producing responsible leaders. All they have continued to breed is criminals in the name of presidency. And because of a man said, I am fighting for the right of my people and my right for this reason. They went to his house to kill 28 people. After he was set free by court of law after two years. And the is not a coward. He's a man who believes so much in the cause of freedom. In the cause of freedom. He believes in democracy. That it was why he told the then terrorist president Buhari that all he needed was a referendum in a ballon box for the people to determine if they still want to be in Nigeria after they were forced into Nigeria in the first instance. But that force is still what the Nigerian government are doing to date. He must not go. He must stay. Whether he like it or not. Whether he suffer or not. He must stay in Nigeria. And the British could not pretend because they are, were part of parcel of those who planned the kidnap of Namdekan. I'm not saying it to Miss West. The Buhari has done his and left office. A terrorist. Who oh, is that meaning? The fate of innocent freedom fighter. Tribu has come into office. A drop baron is now trying to use uh, high court to check them the camp. Like I said in my previous video. But like I said before, you will see so many things on food. What you are seeing in East Asia is nonsense. You will see it everywhere in the whole country. Not in Easter region. I'm not one of those who go around killing their people in Easter region. And believe me, so many people will go down if anything happens to the town, including those who call themselves politicians and their children, no matter where they are in the world. It's not a threat. I'm telling you what will happen. Because you can't just kidnap a freedom fighter somewhere from Kenya. 
brought back to Nigeria after court has set him free. He continued to pretend. He refused to obey the court. He refused to obey the constitution. He refused to obey the law. Brother, you told Buhari a friend to keep it, push it, push it until you become president. Now you become president. You now squash the appeal court to read it through your Supreme Court that they control, just like you use them to win election. Who is deceiving who? And some people that call themselves politicians from U.S. fashion, they are making noise. I am not one of all those that beat around the bush. I said things the way it is. Political solution. For who? For Nam the Khan. A man of God has set free. That Tribu came in and squashed the case with his happy court, with his spring court that he controls. The presidency controls the spring court, controls the appeal court, controls every court in Nigeria, controls the constitution. He says what's happened. As far as I'm concerned, Nigerian leaders has never allowed this court to determine the fate of innocent people. It's only when it comes to the politicians. That's the only time you see them going free. Because why? Because the presidency are the ones, APC, releasing them. Not because court is not aware that they committed a crime. Who did not commit any crime? Who did not carry any gun ammunition against the Nigerian government? What he did was just to create an instant security network to protect our land from the hands of foreign terrorists that the government of Buhari refused to protect. Shame to Tinibu. Look, I'm telling you, I'm not playing. If you don't listen to the canon and anything goes wrong, even your children will not grow up. I think I've come to the end of this news. It's not a threat, like I said. It's a promise. Many people are ready to do that if anything goes wrong in Namdekano's life. Jay Biafra.